is Johnny Depp's baby shoe. There's no flat surfaces to speak of. And I remember that she told me it took her inches overall height. Nine and a half inches. Sorry too, which I will, I will share, which is kind of comical, but they were not to be taken out of um, country. Translucent, lucite, I believe, acrylic. Very similar yet slightly different. These are wall sconces with a feather and floral effect. These were also from the estate of Jason Williams, ex-NBA All-Star. Lived off island in Berkeley Hall. Very nice fellow, by the way. Had a six year, $90 million contract. These are fiberglass understructure with their four and a half feet tall. And then with the floral feather effect up, about seven and a half feet, or a little more perhaps. And these originally, I believe, they were on the invoice. When we got them from the estate after a situation. I believe they were $1,400 is what he paid for each one. And that doesn't surprise me because of the nature of the floral charges. They seem to be in excellent, if not flawless condition. I don't quote me on that because they're probably 10 years old or so, that I don't know. And these, we would, there are two of them, they're almost identical, of course, with slight difference. These are $500 a piece, not $1,400. He had them around a an area in the upper level. He had 18,000 square foot house in Berkeley Hall. And these were around a giant, gorgeous walk-in shower spa area in the upper level. I mean, they were stunning, absolutely, and they still are, of course. I mean, for a designer or somebody who could put them back at 1400 per each, I would think. Like I say, we're asking 500 per each for these. This is Shlomi Haziza, and there's a lot of it out there, but probably not this one. And here's his signature here, too. Shlomi Haziza. This one, I believe I bought it at an estate sale. I have three or four of his pieces. This I would sell for $1,000. And that's probably a realistic, fair price. It seems to be virtually flawless. Although I see some activity in through here which I don't know was designed or not. I don't know the true history of it. It's probably from the 1980s. Don't quote me on that. It's a heavy, lucite, acrylic, call it what you will, understructure with the original tag and the etched in signature. Magnificent, beautiful piece, especially when the sun catches it. And it probably, well, let's, let's see, at the base it's 10 inches overall height, uh, 19 and a half inches. And the width within is nine and a half inches. And these little things here. It's a, an impressive piece to say the least. It almost rhymes too. This is what it is. It's a mosaic mirrored over a vintage mannequin. It was actually made by Leslie Rowland who has the cottage over in Bluffton, South Carolina. She's quite a multi-talented artist, I will tell you. This needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It has a little bit distress, very easily fixed, little pieces of mirror that have fallen off through time. It's probably 15 years old. The mannequin is probably uh, from the 1950s, but like I say, Leslie embellished on it with a mosaic up top, incredible amount of effort to do this because there's no flat surfaces to speak of. And I remember that she told me it took her about 108 hours to to make this. And it's a beautiful thing and there's really nothing artsy that she can't do, very gifted, very multi-talented woman and uh, local. And she, she told me about the 108 hours, so. And that I would sell for $800 and that's probably something that would sell 
polished up a little bit down in South Beach, Miami, would possibly sell for 3500 or more, conservatively, because that's, that's what they sell for in certain places, even in Boca Raton, uh, South Beach area. Those are conservative estimates, only because I've <laughs> been there and seen how they price things like that. That would be a fabulous buy. It's just, just like I say, sitting on its own uh, mannequin base, glass base. Needs to be cleaned up right now. All right, this is another Shlomi Haziza uh, acrylic sculpture. Uh, it's a color infused piece. There are others out there that I'm aware of. I would sell this for 1600 I paid 1200 for it in 1982 at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. So there's a little history. Not that that's consequential, but he had marked it down $1,000 for me to be able to buy it at the time. And I, I love it and it is for sale. All right, this is just, it is what it is. It's acrylic art. It's probably about 15, 16 inches tall, weighs probably three pounds. It's translucent, lucite, I believe, acrylic, very similar yet slightly different. It just sits there as a, a bust of sorts, lady in red, very beautiful when the light shoots through it from the sun or from artificial light for photo opportunities. Very, very, very cool would sell for $500.